ClickSense is available in the following languages. The language you see in ClickSense depends on the web browser in which it is running, and how that browser detects the language in which to display content. By default, ClickSense Desktop runs in a window of its own, in the display language of the operating system of your computer. In this case, the language cannot be altered unless you change the display language of the operating system. But you can also open ClickSense Desktop in a web browser. In that case, the language depends on the web browser in which it is running, and how that browser detects the language in which to display content. How you set ClickSense to display content in another language depends on the web browser you are using. In this example, we use Google Chrome, where you can change the language in the advanced settings. Add the language in which you want ClickSense to run, or select an existing language from the list. Close all Google Chrome sessions and open ClickSense again. As you can see, ClickSense is now displayed in the language you have selected. You can change the language in the same way when you are using ClickSense Server. By default, the reading order in a ClickSense app is left to right. You can change the reading order and read from right to left for languages such as Arabic and Hebrew. When the right to left reading order is turned on in the app options, the visualizations are displayed from right to left. User provided text, such as sheet titles, will always be right aligned, regardless of the language of the provided text. The main toolbar and the edit panels are not affected by this setting. For these, the language depends on the language setting of the web browser in which ClickSense is running. The reading order affects the entire app. The reading order can only be changed in an unpublished app. As seen here, the app option menu is not displayed in this published app. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.